it looks all built up. But when the first colors arrived, it was almost like a journey to no man's land. We are told that a piece of land averaged around 7,000 naira some two decades ago. But today, owing to the enterprising proficiency of the traders and the value and volume of business, it's about 22 million just for the asking. If Alaba was not here, the local government couldn't have been here. If Alaba was not here, the development that took place between uh, Trade Fair up till Ajangbadi, till he, he, he made he moved it to Badagri, wouldn't have been that spontaneous. The sighting of this market and what played out from this market gave rise to a lot of developments here. Before, when I came to Lagos in 1987, as an early 88, 89, they were selling a plot of land at the next very close here for 7,009. The same plot of land is going for 22 million. As at that time, in 1987, you can't see good houses around. Now, go around, you see good houses. As at 1987, 88, 89, we had only two banks here Cooperative and Commerce and Progress Bank. The next bank was Savannah Bank at Trade Fair. In my own section alone, electronics, there are 13 banks. Alaba International Market, as it is fondly called, is not just a marketplace by mere trading activity. We are told it warehouses some of the best in terms of product, franchise, human capacity, and one of the most organized in terms of business structure. We have indigenous products here that are doing wonderfully well. Polystar is doing well. It's owned by an individual from Alaba. Gomez is doing well. White Gold is doing well. Rest Point is doing well. Newcastle is doing well. Genesis is doing well. These things I'm telling you are products that are individually owned by members of this market that can compete favorably with every other product. Even most of them are better. As a first time caller, you may have to visit the market directory by asking for the secretariat of the various units, or otherwise, you may grope throughout this community and return home frustrated. There are various sessions that make up this market. There is the Electrical Dealers Association of Nigeria, the Fancy and Furniture Dealers Association of Nigeria, the General Electric Dealers Association of Nigeria, or Joint International Trade Center, United Plaza Association of Nigeria, which accommodates those who trade in used products, a larger drive and environ, another furniture center known for locally sourced and imported products, and of course the pioneer traders here the very set of traders known as the International Market Association Electronics, home to all your electronic needs, spare parts, and after-sales service. Internationalism is also derived from the fact that bulk buyers travel from countries like Togo, Ghana, Benin Republic, and as far as Angola to stock their local markets. The trade volume is huge, 
I'm told it runs into hundreds of millions daily. Three decades ago, only two banks were located here. Today, any bank worth its billing is domiciled right here in this market. Capacity is graded into three. You're either a wholesaler, in this case, an importer with a trade volume of about 10 million naira in a single transaction, or a middle class dealer who buys from the big boy importers as they're called, or a retailer. So, beyond these plazas are small size carved out compartments called three feet attachments. In all, there are over 10,000 shops and over 2,000 offices. The ripple effect of business is such that real estate has increased in value, families have been supported, and revenue has been generated for both government at the state and the local government level.